All right, this is our second topic, which is operation of fractions. Well, as you can see, it's quite complicated, isn't it? Well, actually, you know how to do everything, but because of all the brackets, you might think that it looks very difficult. But remember the rule of bod mass? We just have to do it one step at a time and you will be able to solve this problem, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to solve the bracket, okay? The red bracket. So let's use a red marker, okay? So one-fourth plus two-fifth. One-fourth plus two-fifth. Hmm. I have two fractions I need to add together. What do we need to do? We need to find the lowest common denominator, right? So what is the lowest common denominator for 4 and 5? When in doubt, you just multiply. So that would be a 20. So if I want to change the fraction into 20, I would have both 20. So 4 times what equals 20? I would say it's a times 5. So times 5, which equals to 5, plus that also has to be 20. So 5 times what equals 20? Times 4. So 2 times 4 will be 8. In this case, we will have, let's see, 13 over 20. And then we're done with this bracket, right? Next, we got to bring this one down. So let's change to another color. Now when we bring that one down, first, I notice there's a mixed number. So mixed number, I have a 20 already, so let's change it into improper fraction, shall we? So I'm gonna multiply and then plus. What would I get? 20. 20 times one is 20 plus nine, I would have 29 over here. Now remember this one, we're still in the bracket, so minus, and notice I have a bracket Okay, so doing the bracket, I need to subtract, which is 29 minus 13, I would get, what would I get? 20 minus 13 is 16. So this one, I will get 16 over 20. Okay, now we're done with the bracket. Let's bring it up here so we have more room. 16 over 20. Now we have to do this part down here. Now before that, I have 16 over 20 times 4 and 3 eighths. So what is my first step? I think it's hard to use a multiply with a mixed number, right? So the first step is always to, again, change that into an improper fraction. So let's multiply and plus. So when I have that, I would have 8 times 4 is 32 plus 3 is 35 over 8. Okay? What, uh, what's the next step? I think we need to see if we can reduce or cross cancel, right? So let's see. 8 and 16, that could be canceled into 1 and 2 using 8 as our factor. How about 2 and 10? I mean 2 and 20. That would be 1 and 10. How about 10 and 35? We could use a 5. So that would be 2 and 7. Anything else I could cancel? I think that's it. So if not, let's multiply. 1 times 7 is 7 on top. 2 times 1 is 2 on the bottom. Double check, let's check my answer. Seven over two, yes. Now, you can leave that as seven over two or you could convert that into mixed number, okay? So mixed number, how can you convert it? Now you could go do a division, seven divided by two, two goes in three times and remainder one. So that would be three and one half. 